Welcome to the Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering and to the topping out ceremony for the Bill and Melinda Gates Center for Computer Science and Engineering. As I think you all <laughs> As I think you all know by now, this is the ceremonial raising of the final beam of the structure which will happen in uh, not too many minutes and you'll be able to see it on the screens here. We won't all have to go outdoors in the cold uh, or in what we anticipated would be the wet, but fortunately it's not. Uh, this project is a dream come true for us. Uh, it will double our space, making it possible to educate more of Washington's students for Washington's 21st century. Uh, you're the people who've made this possible, and uh, I want to be the first of many people to stand up here this evening and uh, express our deepest thanks to all of you, to each and every one of you, for, uh, for what you've done to make this dream come true. Uh, without any further ado, uh, let me introduce our great friend and your great friend, University of Washington President and Professor of Psychology, Anamari Kase. Anamari. Is everybody having a good time? The food good? Company good? All right, well, I'm delighted to be here to celebrate this very special and really a pivotal moment for computer science education here at the University of Washington, and really, it's for the state of Washington. I want to welcome everybody here, including members of our Board of Regents. They represent the people of Washington State, who are the real winners in this because of the opportunities that it will provide for individuals to be educated. I um, also want to thank all our donors, our volunteers, elected officials, and of course, the students and faculty. Thanks for being here on this afternoon, um, on this beautiful, beautiful afternoon. I want to join Ed in celebrating what the Bill and Melinda Gates Center will do to increase opportunity for our students, because they're the heart and soul of our mission. When opportunities for students grow, they can have an impact on the wider world. And today is a milestone in advancing prosperity, discovery, and innovation. It's also a powerful example of how giving through the university can change the world. It's my pleasure to welcome and thank some people who have been very incredible partners and real visionaries. Bill and Melinda Gates, um, extraordinary. They are extraordinary friends of the University of Washington, and uh, the footprints of the gates are just all over our campus in so many different ways. We could not be prouder to have our second computer science building named after the both of you. Your generosity and vision for the future inspires everybody in this room. It also advances our region and our world. And also, Brad Smith, president of Microsoft, you've You've spearheaded so many initiatives that strengthen our university, our state, our nation, and beyond. Your leadership at the University of Washington has been nothing short of transformative. The UW is fortunate to have friends like Bill, Melinda, Brad, and everyone here today to celebrate this great moment. So please join me in welcoming Brad to say a few words. Well, let me just start by saying that for me, and I know for many of you, this project since its inception has been a real labor of love. It's just a huge opportunity for all of us. As Anamari said, this is a new building for the University of Washington. It's in fact a new building for a world-class department in a great university. But as she also said, it's really a new building for the state of Washington. I would say it's a building for the people of Washington. It's a building for the future of Washington. And it's a building that will help this department grow opportunity for others especially as we look to the future needs of this region and the state, as well as our opportunity to build a more diverse technology sector and a future where someday we're going to look out at a group like this and see as many women as men and see as people from all 
backgrounds and races represented, it is this kind of expansion that helps us build something that's not only great, but expands opportunity for everybody. It's also been a labor of love because since its inception, it's provided the opportunity for a number of us to come together and work together. And I think one of the most magical moments along the way was when a number of us came to this idea of wanting to name the building after Bill and Melinda. And so we came together as friends of Bill and Melinda and that idea took off like wildfire. No two people were more important to that than Charles and Lisa Simone. They deserve a huge round of applause for that. But so many people came together recognizing that this was this unique opportunity to both do something great and to honor two people about whom we felt so warmly and who we appreciate so much. And sometimes when you do this kind of fundraising, it's hard, and sometimes you get lucky. And you know what? This time we got lucky. Because we were working away, we were talking about, you know, how are we going to close the distance? How are we going to raise the last 16 or 17 million dollars? And then the phone rang. <laughs> and we got this message. It said, you know, Bill and Melinda Gates would like to donate 15 million dollars to this building. They had no idea we were going to name it after them. We said, we'll take their money, but they can't change the name. And sure enough, we all came together with this wonderful moment of realizing that we were on the verge of crossing the finish line. And here we are tonight, having crossed the finish line in terms of the fundraising, approaching the finish line in terms of the beams that will make this new building, and with huge enthusiasm about what will be inside before we know it. So please join me in welcoming two of the best people in the world, the two people were so privileged to name this building after Bill and Melinda Gates. exciting to stand in this space with all of you and to imagine what's about to come, what's going up across the street. And um, I just want to go back a little bit in time. Uh, 1987 uh, is when I graduated from college. Um, I was dead set on taking a job with IBM in Dallas, Texas, where I grew up. I had an offer. And then I got this call from this young company called Microsoft. And eventually I got an offer and I said to my parents, I was off on spring break, I called home and I said, if I get an offer, I'm going to have to take it. And in fact, that offer came in. When I, and I had a computer science degree and a business degree, when I came to the Northwest, I really didn't know anything about the University of Washington. In fact, absolutely nothing. And the first dinner where Bill invited me to go to his parents' home for dinner, you can imagine one of the things that was discussed at the table at length was the University of Washington. <laughs> Bill and Mary Gates loved this university. They both went here, they saw what it did for them and for other young people, and they believed in it because of what it does for the state and the opportunities that it creates for young people to prosper and work in our state. So when this idea came along um, about the, this building, I have to say, um, Bill actually surprised me. He came home from work one day and he said, well, I, something incredible happened today. And I, he doesn't normally come home. He's not known for superlatives too much. <laughs> and he came home and said this, so I really paid attention. He said, well, Brad and Charles came and told me that in fact, even though we've made this donation, they had been fundraising all along from a, a group of very generous donors and that the building would be named after us. And that was a really, really special day for us. And we really appreciated that. The other thing that was really fun for me and for us as a couple was yesterday, Bill Sr., who as I said adores this university, was here and signed the beam. And big, wide smile on his face. 
uh, because of the way he feels about this university. So we couldn't be more proud uh, to have our names on the building. And sometimes when you agree to a building, you have to push people in a certain direction a little bit. And this is a case where because of the work that Ed Lazowska has done and Hank Levy to make sure there are multiple and many pathways for young women and minorities into computer science, we don't have to do anything except be along for the ride. So thank you to both of you. Well, of course, my connection to the university uh, through my parents is very strong. Uh, they met here, uh, and I'd say they uh, are very, were always very loyal alum. Uh, even to this day, my dad uh, is super enthusiastic to do anything connected to the university. Uh, my sister's on the Board of Regents. Uh, my connection's a little more unusual, uh, which is that Paul and I stole lots of computer time. Uh, <laughs> You know, there's a physics building over there, the computer science building was down there, the EE building, there were computers. People didn't know that if you came in late at night or early in the morning, uh, you could find computer time. And I lived just over in Lowellhurst, so I could walk over and uh, actually the physics building, it was like 5 a.m. in the morning where the physics experiments, the bubble chamber scanning was done and they had three hours that nobody was using that computer. So uh, Paul and I learned a lot here, whether it was punch cards on the, uh, CDC 6400 or the uh, Xerox Sigma machine, the IMLAC, which is the first time I saw a mouse and a graphical screen uh, it, because that was really unusual stuff at the time that we'd be fortunate enough to help help make mainstream. So, uh, you know, a milestone was in uh, 1979 when we moved Microsoft back to Seattle and we had about 15 people and we had big ambitions, so we were hoping that the university would grow along with us, uh, that its size, that its ranking uh, would uh, make it one of the best in the world. Uh, and in fact, that's exactly what, what's happened. Uh, it was a good computer science department. It's now a great uh, computer science department. In fact, demand exceeds supply so much that even this new building, I'm sure, will be uh, full to the brim uh, very, very quickly. So. Uh, you know, thank you for everyone uh, who, who donated knowing uh, what it was going to be named. Uh, you know, if there's ever been a, a clear win-win for uh, this region, uh, for Microsoft, for the companies here, for the students, it's got to be uh, investing uh, in great computer science. So thank you very much. Hi, I'm Hank Levy and I'm director of the Paul G. Allen School. It's been my honor to be deeply involved in the design and construction of both the Allen Center and now the new Bill and Melinda Gates Center, which will be a show, showpiece for the UW campus and a hub of creativity and innovation. On behalf of the entire Allen School family, I want to extend thanks to Bill and Melinda, to Brad, to Anna Murray, and to all of you here today. We have a truly amazing community here in Seattle, and the way the community has come together to support us, particularly in this endeavor, is really remarkable. Our expansion would not be possible without all of you. I'd also like to extend my thanks to our wonderful architects, LMN, and general contractor, Mortensen. They were our design and construction team for the Allen Center 15 years ago, and we're thrilled to have them again as our team for the Bill and Melinda Gates Center. They're incredibly talented and dedicated, and their hard work is helping us to create an exciting and inviting space for our students, for our faculty and staff, and for the broader community. Finally, I will do this in recognition. <laughs> I'd like to recognize the construction workers whose thousands of hours of labor have brought this building to its current stage in only 10 and a half months. Okay, with that said, it's time for the main event, the ceremonial hoisting of the final structural beam atop the Bill and Melinda Gates Center, which will be welded into place later this week. We have monitors around the atrium. Will you be able to watch this live from here? So here we go. Mortensen, is the beam ready? We're ready. 
Okay, Mortensen, beam us up. to offer a toast for everyone. Why don't we stand up? I hope you all have a drink or have already had a drink. In any case, to the future. Well, that uh, concludes the formal program. Uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us this evening. I want to thank all of you for making this evening possible. And I encourage you to uh, stay here and uh, linger and enjoy each other's company longer. Thank you all so much. Thank you.